So as you've just seen outside, it's a little bit uh, ugly. Um, it's not been too nice uh, lately, so we're sort of like uh, staying inside. So that's why I'm in here uh, talking to the camera rather than outside with the van. So um, Santa uh, has bought me for Christmas a nice new dash cam for my van. So it's an Ash Abashk, an Abashk. So name I've never heard of, and no doubt you've never heard of as well. So it's a cheap webcam, here we go, and uh, it's not too bad actually, as you're going to see, because I'm going to uh, show you a little bit of footage after this uh, little uh, talk through. So that's the camera, and it's like any other dash cam I would have bought. Um, you've got uh, the main camera, um, manual. Well, that's some cables missing. Uh, there's a cigarette lighter power lead, which uh, I think I've left in my office, um, and that needs to be plugged in all the time when you use it. Um, so, and you have, I don't know if you can see this or not, probably better off taking it out of the bag, it might help. I haven't taken it out of the bag yet. I turn light, my brother-in-law had looked at it yesterday, more about that later on. So you've got a, a little camera for the rear. Now, um, it seems a bit ridiculous having uh, a rear camera on uh, my yogurt pot of a van, but um, I was wondering if it's going to be actually possible to do it. And I was talking to my brother-in-law brother -in yesterday, excuse me, and... Um, He's an ex-electrician, he worked for a big American company that is very well known, that begins with I and ends in M. And um, he said to me at first it was 5 volts for the camera, for the rear camera. And we thought that was a bit strange. Uh, and eventually we found the instructions for the camera and realised it was 12 volts like the, the dash camera. So that in mind, um, normally you would probably wire this up to the, um, the reverse light, okay, but obviously, or you're probably not aware, my van doesn't have a reverse light, uh, but it does have a switch on the gear lever for reverse, which you've probably seen in another video, uh, basically when you pull the lever backwards to go into reverse, it pulls on the cable to action the CVT transfer. I think the reverse gear is a separate gear uh, to the CVT because uh, you've got the CVT and then the reverse gear is made by an Italian manufacturer who I think has also um, provided suspension and all sorts of little bits and pieces. So it's a bit of a mishmash my van. But in short, um, perhaps I'll be able to hook this up to the rear switch in the gear lever. Um, and therefore, while going to reverse with the gear lever, then it will action the little camera. So we'll have to see how that works. So, yesterday, as I said, I went to my brother in law. Well, I didn't say yesterday, but I went to my brother in law's yesterday um, because he and his wife um, invited us over for a meal. And as we were just a small number of us, in these COVID times, we, we decided to go. But unfortunately, the weather was awful. I mean, it was gale force winds, uh, lots of rain, torrential rain even. And I decided to go over there in my van uh, with my wife taking the, uh, the proper car, the Renault Scenic. Um, and I've never really driven, well, I've driven in rain before, um, but not rain like that. And as the uh, the mister on the on the van is totally useless, um, well, it's not very good. So it was okay getting there, uh, and I took some footage. Or I got my son to to film me, and also used the new dash cam to do some footage of the actual trip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put the two together, and. Uh, I'm going to, to start a new playlist, which I'll probably call 
Oh no, Mega Van Cam. Uh, not very original, but I can't think of anything else at the moment. So, if I take any footage with my dash cam, that's interesting, uh, which probably won't be very often, but I will upload it and stick it in the playlist uh, Mega Van Cam. Um, but this is the first one of using, well, first film using the dash cam. So, um, you're going to see a few clips taken yesterday. Um, one of me going to my brother-in-law's, it's about, I don't know, a mile and a half away, something like that. Uh, and then coming back in the dark um, with gale force winds and torrential rain. And suddenly I realised um, I've not driven in the dark before. Uh, or rather, I have driven in the dark before, but when I was taking driving lessons back in 1991 in a Peugeot 205 GRD which is not quite the same as my van. Um, I think even that is more advanced than my van. Uh, so, yeah, um, it was a bit hairy. Even though my wife was in front of us, and we both put hazards on, because, uh, well, you just couldn't see anything. And, um, yeah, it was, it was an experience. Even if it was a very short trip, of just a few minutes, uh, it was a bit hair-raising for me, because I'm just not used to driving in those conditions. Um, but uh, yeah, it was interesting, interesting times. So, uh, if you'd like to to see the clip, well, I'll shut up and leave you to watch it. See ya. Yeah. Right, we'll get through the gate eventually. Without hitting anything. I don't know where my boy is. Can you just hang on, just stop? And then up. Keep fit steering wheel. Oh, I'll leave you to go and close the thing. I'll go forwards without realising it. So my son's just gone to, to close the gate. I hope this car's going to be okay. You over to my son Rebbe, who's now going to be the cameraman. That's up. And then later on, hopefully you'll be able to get out because uh, it's going to keep the camera constantly running, but the camera's constantly running. Why should I put some plastic in the mines on?
because the, the oxaloic is a bit too sensitive. Just think about all the things bouncing around in the back. That's 40.
uh, driving at night with uh, very strong winds and lots of rain definitely uh, the first thing in the van so that's the end of this video and uh, thanks for putting up with this new dash cam uh, footage hopefully it will look okay when it's all put together so thanks for watching take care of yourselves and see you in another video bye bye